Envoicebond's MIDI Listen mode allows you to record MIDI data into the plugin as notes, ready to add lyrics. You can do this by either playing in notes using a MIDI keyboard, or by recording pre-programmed MIDI data from your door. Here's how to do it. To enable MIDI Listen mode while your door is playing back, activate the red Record button in the Envoice 1 toolbar, and make sure you have a MIDI signal coming through on that channel in your door. The plugin should hear it and create notes. To come out of recording mode, click the Record button for a second time. La, 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 la. Now you can type words into your new note regions and adapt them. Of course, MIDI Listen Mode can also be acted before playback starts. Just click that record button or press its shortcut key, and Envoice will be ready to create notes as soon as you press play in your door. Here, the plugin is recording the MIDI data from the channel in our project. Pressing stop in your host will also automatically take you out of MIDI listen mode. No need to click the button again. Because quantization is switched off when recording, you can import existing MIDI files beat for beat by importing them into your project and recording them. But Envoice will always try to identify regions, so if there are gaps of a certain size between notes, one note will be made longer in the interest of having just one text box for that region. To undo the recording you just made, hit Alt-Z or Option-Z, and the plugin will delete all the notes and regions that were just recorded, so you can have another go. You can redo by holding Shift as well. Playing new MIDI over existing notes won't overwrite them, but you can use a second pass of recording to add glissando notes and bends. Every time you fight. If you've already typed lyrics into the text boxes, these will be retained as the new notes create glides. Remember, Envoice One is a virtual vocalist and so can only play monophonically. If you're holding a note while you hit a new note, the first note will end and the second note will start. So that's a basic crash course in using MIDI in Envoice One. To see what we've added since making this video, don't forget to check out the manual and more at envoiceapp.com. <laughs>